All right, kiddo, let's see if we can do some work. So we just did a little decompression sniffing in the front yard and a little bit of what we call watching the world go by, which is if you come outside and just stand here with her on a gorgeous day like this in the shade and you let her take it all in, it becomes less exciting each time. Still fun, but not so over stimulating because she gets to just take it in at her own pace and not have to immediately go into the walk. She's hot. And she's tired. She just got herself so tired out. She's rolling in the grass over here as I talk. Um, and so one of the things I'll, ooh, a person, a person. you could see that. That was a person and a dog. They're way in the distance, so I don't know if you saw them pass. And she went up and was like, oh, a person and a dog. And then I said, touch, and she came back. So even just a short amount of time we've spent out here seeing people and dogs has made a huge difference already. So the decompression part, the desensitization part to how overstimulating outside is, is going to be solved by coming out here each day and either getting a lawn chair or standing and simply holding the leash and letting her take it in and then giving treats if she turns back and looks at you and it really is that simple and I'll have all this written down you don't need to memorize it but that's what we spent a lot of time doing today because she just came out so frantic like I don't want to work her to death but I can't work until she's in thinking mode. And so that decompression and that sniffing and that kind of just taking it all in will help get her into a better uh, mental state for you to walk her. Oh my gosh. You trying to get this harness off. All right, let's work and then take a break. Come on. Lily, turn. Nice job. Okay, so that turn is gonna be useful for if she pulls out ahead and you wanna get her back. Come on, honey. I know you're so tired. I know. Come on. Let's go. Nice job, Lily. Turn. This is perfect. Perfect. I know this video got long, but she's doing great now. Head into the grass. <laughs> okay. And let's demo one more thing so we'll have turn and we'll have touch and these are to get her back so she doesn't have to march by your side like a robot she should go sniff and go look around and go side to side a little bit but when you need her back you'll have two things you can use touch and come on Lily. turn good and then of course, you can always use find it. So that person and dog are coming back. I hope you can see them and I'll use find it. Lily. Good job, find it. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna pass within a very close distance of people and dogs anyway, if I have a dog that's really over excited by that. But at this distance, she's doing great with everybody who passes by. So I let her see the dog and the person, and then I said, hey, go do this. That would be appropriate. And she did. Good job. Hey, lots of options. Just trying to get catch a couple of them on video before we work together so you can kind of see what you're getting into.